a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name a mind of God. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counsel, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government, there will be no end. But you, Bethlehem of Ephraim, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to be the one to be the ruler in Israel whose goings forth are from of old, from everlasting. Therefore he shall give him up until the time that she who is in labor has given birth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel, and he shall feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide for now. He shall be great to the ends of the earth, and this one shall be peace. Those are the words of Isaiah and of Micah the prophets. And here's John's story of the birth, short, sweet. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. In Him was life, and the light was the light of men, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And he said, that's my wife. 
and she could deliver at any moment. She nearly had the baby in that wagon. She's in pain right now. Do you want that baby to be born here in your doorway? Of course not, sir. I don't want that. But there's just no way I can help you. Please understand, I just have no room. None. I heard you, Joseph said. But it is midnight, and it is cold. Don't you have any place for us to just keep warm? The man sighed, and he looked at Mary, and then he looked at Joseph. And he turned around, and he walked into his house, and shortly he returned with a lamp. And he gave it to Joseph, and he said, Behind the inn is a tray, and that will lead you down a hill. Follow it until you come to a stable, but watch your step. The stable is clean, or as clean as a stable can be. And with a shrug, he did add, but it is much warmer than it is outside. Joseph just could not believe what he was hearing. You expect us to stay in a stable? Joseph! Yes, it was Mary speaking. She had heard every word of the conversation. And Joseph turned. And she was smiling, that beautiful smile. And he knew exactly what that smile meant. meant. Enough. No more arguing. Joseph sighed and he puffed out his cheeks and he said, probably a little sarcastically, that would be just fine. And he took the lamp. Strange, the innkeeper muttered to himself. As the couple left, turning to his wife, he asked, Who was that man who came and got all the rooms? The wife opened the register and she looked down the list and she said, Hmm, that's a different name. Sophia. He must be Greek or something. We were a wreath of light around the stable, a necklace of diamonds around that small structure. Every angel had been called from his post for the coming, even Michael, the archangel. None doubted that God would, but none knew how he could fulfill the promise that he had made. I needed the water! No need to yell, Joseph. I hear you just. Mary would have heard Joseph, and he whispered. The stable was even smaller than Joseph had imagined, but the innkeeper was right. It was clean. I started to clear out the sheep and the cows, but Michael stopped me. The father, he said, wants all creation to witness the moment. Ah! There was an ear piercing cry, and Mary grabbed. Joseph on with one hand. And she grabbed the side of the trough with the other hand. And the thrust in her abdomen pushed her forward and she leaned forward and she said, and Joseph panted, is it time? And she shot back a glance that answered him very quickly. He knew. And within moments, within moments, the awaited one was born. I was privileged to have a position close to the couple, only a step behind Michael. We both gazed into the wrinkled face of that tiny infant. Joseph had placed hay in a feed trough, giving Jesus his very first bed. We looked. All of God was in that infant. Every bit of the Father was right there in that child. Light encircled his face and radiated, radiated from his tiny hands. The very same glory that I had witnessed in the throne room, in God's throne room, now burst through the skin of that tiny baby. I felt like we should sing, but didn't know what. We had no song. 
We had no verse. We had never seen the sight of God in a tiny baby. When God made stars, our words had roared. When He had delivered His servants, our tongues had flown with praise. It was so easy. When we stood before His throne, our songs never ended. But what do you sing to God in a feed trough? And in that moment, a wonderful thing happened. As we looked at the baby Jesus, the darkness lifted. Not the darkness of the night, but the darkness of the mystery. Heaven's enlightenment engulfed the legions, and our minds were filled with truth we had never before known. We became aware for the very first time of the Father's plan to rescue all who call on His name. He revealed to all of us what was to come. And once amazed and stunned, the eye of every angel went to one part of the child. Those small, tiny hands that someday would be pierced. At the pounding of the nail, God had told us, you will not save him. You will watch. You will hear. You will yearn but you will not rescue me. Paragon and Aegis turned to me, begging for an explanation. I had none. My mind raced. My heart was pumping so fast. I exist to, to, to serve my king, and I must watch him be tortured. I looked to Michael. His face was stone hard with torment. I recognized the look because I felt the very same. We could not fathom the command. How will we sit silent as you suffer? Michael and I asked in unison. And there was no response. But Sophia, we heard Sophia whispering, and I drew near to hear his words. He said, a child has been given to us. God has given His Son to us. He will be responsible for leading His people, and His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. He will be wounded for the wrong that others did. The punishment will, the people that will make them well will be given to him. They will be healed because of his wounds. Once again, once again, I heard the words I had heard first there at the throne room. Only this time, this time I understood Jesus, nay, false, blood, tomb, so this is in my way. So this is God's gift, a Savior. He shall save His people from their sins. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb, I whispered as I knelt before my God. My heart was full. I turned to Mary as she cradled her child, and I spoke. It didn't matter that she couldn't hear me. The stars could. All of nature could hear me. But most of all, I knew that my king could hear. Do you know what you hold, Mary? You secure the author of grace. He who is ageless is now just moments old. He who is limitless is now second your milk. He who strides upon the stars has legs that right now are too weak to walk. The hands which held the oceans are now just an infant's fist. To him who has never asked a question, you will teach the name of the wind. The source of language, Mary, will learn words from you. 
He who is never stumbled, you will carry. And he who is never